welcome to the recon trader in today's video i will show you how to set up and by the end of the video how to deploy one of qcoin's free grid bots via the recently launched web version of their software for their trading bots that means i don't have to use my phone any longer to configure a qcoin trading bot now, if you don't have a Qcoin account, I will drop a link in the description down below and you can follow that link to sign up for a brand new Qcoin trading account. And if you're not familiar with Qcoin, they're basically a crypto trading exchange very similar to Binance. And for you U.S. customers, yes, they do accept U.S. customers. And so that is a huge benefit over Binance that does not accept U.S. customers. So with that being said, Qcoin is an excellent alternative to Binance Exchange. Now, after you log into your Qcoin account, you just simply come over to the menu bar across the top here. And where you see trade and you'll see trading bot in yellow letters. You can trade via their spot trading terminal or margin trading. But in this case, we want to configure a new trading bot, which you'll see down here at the bottom of the menu for trading bot new. Give that a click and that will bring you to the Qcoin trading bot dashboard. Now, so far they only offer their spot grid bot, but do have plans to add the DCA, the future grid and the smart rebalancing bot to their web version of the software. So stay tuned for the future add to the web version. So since we only have the choice of the spot grid bot, I just come over to create bot and give that a click and you'll get a pop-up to configure your spot grid bot. Now they offer the AI parameters where they basically just fill in the settings for you. However, today I am going to actually customize. So I'll give that a click and I will select my own parameters for this particular bot. And you can see the first option is price range. So you have to select the lower and higher limits for your grid bot. Now you don't have a chart when you're configuring the bot, so you will have to actually take a look at a chart in order to configure this bot. At least I do. That's how I configure my bots basically on prior resistance for my upper and prior support for my lower levels. And taking a look at the Bitcoin chart, you can see that I have resistance at 42.5. We come into it back here on the sell-off back in May. And we just recently came up back up into that level and sold off once again. However, we are recovering. Now, most of the time, I do prefer to deploy my bots when the price is somewhere in the middle of this sideways motion which would be around the 36,000 level so I would normally want the price to be at this level before I deployed a bot but as far as my upper and lower levels I'd be looking at around 42.5 for resistance or 28.8 for support now I will give the bot room to maneuver both above and below these levels so let's jump back over to the range and set my lower level at 27,000 and I'll set my higher limit at 49,000. And again, I'm trading BTC USDT. You can certainly select a variety of different coins and they can actually be USDT as your quote. You can use BTC as your quote currency, ETH, uh, USDC so you have a very wide variety of coins and when you actually search the different coins one of the nice features that Qcoin offers in the information is volatility of that coin and you can see Sol has a hundred percent volatility and so that would typically provide pretty good action for a grid bot but you do need to keep in mind that this is past performance and does not guarantee future performance of that grid bot and so if I look up BTC, you can see I have volatility of only 6%. I'm okay with that. I'm actually looking to use this bot to accumulate BTC at a lower price and sell for a higher price and accumulate profit that I can then reinvest back into Bitcoin. So again, I'm going with BTC USDT as my pair and I have my price range of 27,000 for the lower limit and 49,000 for the upper limit. 
Next, I need to decide the number of placed orders. And the way a grid bot works is you basically have open limit orders. You have open buy limit orders on the way down and you have open sell limit orders on the way up. So I need to determine the number of placed orders I want this bot to have. And so we can start with the highest number, which is 100. And with 100 limit orders, you can see the interval of my orders or the grids would be every $220. And the profit per grid after the 0.08% fee that Qcoin charges would be between 0.29% and 0.65%. It can actually vary. Now, if I drop my number of orders to 70, you can see that my interval rises to 314 USDT and the profit per grid after the fee would be around 0.48% to 1%. Now, for this particular grid bot, I think I'm going to go with 90 orders and that will give me a profit per grid after the 8% fee of around 0.34% all the way up to a 0.74% profit. And so next I need to decide how much ammo I want to go ahead and give this bot. And in this case, I think I'll give it 300 USDT. Now I would actually be ready to click create and deploy this bot. However, there are a couple of advanced settings that are optional that I could choose to set. One would be a stop loss. And in this case, because I'm trading BTC and I'm willing to hold that BTC long term, I'm not actually going to use a stop loss as it would end up selling my BTC if the price went down below my stop loss price. Now, I know what some of you are thinking who watch my videos on a regular basis and you know what I say about not using a stop loss when deploying a grid bot is basically like going into battle without armor. However, there are exceptions. I am willing to hold this BTC regardless of how low the price of BTC goes. And that is something to take into consideration when you're trading. I don't trade crap coins. The coins I trade, for the most part, I'm willing to hold long term. And in this case, I'm willing to hold Bitcoin for the next five years if I accumulate it down at a lower price. So with that being said, the next option is entry price. And as I mentioned, when we were looking over at the chart, I would actually prefer to deploy a bot when the price action is down around the middle of that range. And if we jump back over to the Bitcoin chart, you can see the yellow lines now represent my upper and lower limits for my grid. And the current price is right here around 39.5. And that is pretty close to the middle of this range. Now I am giving Bitcoin some room to roam towards the upside. And the reason I'm doing that, unlike a lot of my BitScap bots that I deploy that have a trailing up feature, the Qcoin bot does not have trailing up. So once the price action moves above your upper limit, the bot will no longer be active. And therefore I can't really go off of prior resistance like I would with the majority of my BitScap grid trading bots. So I had to raise that price up to around 49,000, which is again around some previous resistance and gives the bot enough room to maneuver within this range without the risk of moving out of range and not trading at all. And since the price of Bitcoin is currently somewhat in the middle, it's a little above the middle of this range, but it's close enough to the middle that I'm comfortable deploying the bot now. However, if I was going to stick with my original 42.5 and 28.8 range, I could have selected an entry price of that 36,000, which was right in the middle of that range. But for today's bot and my current configuration, I'm not going to actually enable the entry price as well. And so for a quick recap, I have chose to customize my own grid bot. I will be trading BTC USDT. The price range for the lower limit is 27,000. The upper limit is 49,000 USDT. The number of placed orders or grids will be 90. The interval will be 244 USDT. So those grids will be placed every 244 USDT. The profits per grid less the 0.08% fee that Qcoin charges will be between 0.34% and 0.74% per grid. My total investment is 300 USDT. And now we're ready to deploy the bot. So I just click on create. It will confirm my parameters. I click confirm 
And now the bot is deployed and I can click on details. And now I can see all my open orders. I have 52 buy and 38 sells. So the price wasn't quite in the middle of my range. And therefore I have more buy orders than actual sell order, which again, I'm fine with for this particular bot. And if we jump over to the parameter tabs, you can see my range. And it looks like I can actually adjust my range and the number of grids. So I might do a video on that in the future after I let this bot run for a while. So now would be a good time to shoot the subscribe button. And it also looks like I can increase the amount of ammo I want to give this bot. If I so chose, I could add a stop loss. And so you can actually make some adjustments to this bot while it is actually under live fire. So that is kind of unique. And then my order history, like I mentioned, it actually had to go out and buy some BTC in order to satisfy sell orders if the price were to move up. And so that pretty much wraps it up. Now I'll do an update video in the near future. So again, you might want to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. And if you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Qcoin in the description down below. And remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.